Let me show you 17 tips and tricks for ChatGPT so that by the end of this video, you will be a pro. Whether you are new to ChatGPT or use it every single day, there are so many great features and updates that will make your life easier and way more productive. Well, first up, if you didn't know, ChatGPT has keyboard shortcuts and you can find out what they are if you come to the bottom right corner of the screen, click this question mark down here and then choose keyboard shortcuts. There are two that I would like you to know, and those are open new chat and copy last response. Now let's say that I don't like the dark theme and I wanna change it. Well, you can change from dark to light or light to dark by going to the top right of your account, or this can be considered the menu. So if I click this, then go to settings, right here on the general tab, you can choose the theme. So if I instead wanna to go to light, I don't know why you would, but if you want to, you can choose this and now I can be in light mode, but I'm gonna switch it back. So go back to the menu, then settings, under the general tab, theme, and choose dark. Now, one of the problems with ChatGPT is that you can accumulate all these chats that you have over time and they just show up on the sidebar and you just keep scrolling and scrolling through all these chats that you started and you may not even touch 99% of them once you're done with them. So one way we can clean this up is if you go over to one of your chats, so I'm just gonna choose one and choose the options where the three dots are, you can click that, click on the button called archive. So once I click that, it's going to get rid of it from the sidebar and then it will actually be in what's called the archive. Let's say you do want to clean up your sidebar and delete everything that's there. Well, before you do that, what you could do is actually export all of your chats as a downloadable file in your email and then delete everything. So how we do that is if you go back up to the menu at the top right, then we go to settings, then we go to data controls, you can actually choose to export all of your data. So if you click this, this will be, the download link will expire in 24 hours. This will be in your email. So I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm export. So it showed up in my email, I downloaded it, and here is the zip file containing all of my chats. For tip number five, let's say that you actually have a friend and you wanna share something with them. Well, you can share a chat by going to the chat that you wanna share, clicking the three dots for options, and then clicking share. This will bring up a link that says create link. So once you click that, you can now copy this link and then give that to your friend. All right, so here's a quick tip to organize your chats a little bit better too. Say that you don't like the name that ChatGPT gives it, by default, once you create the chat, you can rename it. So if you go to the chat, click the options again, you can choose rename, and this one is about explaining concepts to kindergartners. I don't think I spelled that correctly. That's okay, that's not the point. And now I know what this is about more than whatever it gave me in the first place. So a really cool feature with ChatGPT is that it actually can read aloud your responses back to you. For instance, this could be helpful if you wanna read aloud a summary that you've written. Well, all we have to do is click the speaker button to read aloud the response. Computer science is like learning how to talk to computers and tell them what to do. But let's say that you didn't like that voice. Well, you can go back to your profile or menu, then go to settings and then go to speech. And you can actually choose one of four voices that you want to use. So let's say I want to go to Breeze. Computer science is like learning how to talk to computers and tell them what to do. One of the best features that ChatGPT has is being able to upload files. Well, what does that mean? Well, we can upload a PDF or a spreadsheet, for example, then actually talk to ChatGPT about that file. Well, how do we upload? Well, there are actually two ways. The first way is to go to your document folder and then you can simply drag and drop it onto the screen or you can choose the paperclip icon and then choose upload from computer, but I'm just gonna drag and drop it. So now what you can see is it's actually uploading the PDF here and now I can just ask it a question about it. So let's say, give me the key points from this PDF. And now it's understanding the PDF and then giving me what it thinks are the key points from this. But you could use this like data analysis on financial spreadsheets and so much more. For my next tip, let's say that I didn't like the response that I got about the key points from the PDF. Well, you could just copy and paste the prompt. You could copy it, paste it back down here in the text box and then send that, but you don't actually need to do that. You can keep the same exact prompt. If you scroll down to the end of your response, there's a regenerate button. So if you just click this, it's going to, from the same prompt, give you a different result. Okay, so let's say this time, I didn't actually like that it gave me 18 key points and I only wanted it to give me 10. 
Well, what I can do is scroll back up to the prompt here. There's a little pencil icon. So this will allow you to edit the message. So if you click this, I can say, give me only 10 key points from this PDF. And then I can choose send. And this time it should only give me 10 instead of 18. Okay, so this is gonna be a simpler tip. But as I mentioned in the first tip, you can use the command shortcut to copy the last response or in the last response here with these little icons at the bottom, there is one called copy and you can just click that. Okay, so what I did next for this tip is I asked ChatGPT to elaborate on all 10 of the key points. And well, it sort of did. As you can see, it cut off halfway, almost halfway. Well, what you can do, and it's perfectly okay if it does this, all you have to do is type in continue, send that, and it will continue with whatever the response was and finish it for you. Okay, now you got a response, but let's say there's a part of it where you don't quite understand. Well, what we can do instead of just, again, copying and pasting everything, you can just highlight part of the response. So let's say for YouTube analytics, I wanna know how to use it a little bit more. This quotations icon will appear. So if you just click this, then it already puts it down as part of the prompt. And I can just say, elaborate more on this, please. And then it will go ahead and give you a further elaboration just on that section that you highlighted. Pretty nifty trick. Another amazing tool that comes with ChatGPT is web searching. And it's kind of exactly what it sounds like. In my example here, I wanna to go to LA from December 1st to December 8th of 2024. I want to know the ticket prices from Orlando, Florida to LA. Now, in order to get it to web search, I need to say, hey, first search the internet before giving me the answer and then give me the results with the links to these dates. So I'm gonna send this. It's gonna actually go out and search the web to figure out the ticket prices for me, All right? And this is amazing what it did. It says it found several options. It got me JetBlue, United Airlines, and gave me the prices for them. And at the top of the response, it said it searched five sites. And if you click that little drop down, you can see the sites that it searched to get these ticket prices. This is such a powerful tool with ChatGPT that you really need to be using this. Now, I would never recommend giving out your name or password, obviously, but you do probably log into several devices into ChatGPT. And well, what I would recommend is maybe logging out of all of them at some point or regular intervals if you, you know, use different devices all the time. Well, there's an easy way to do that instead of doing that manually. You can go to the menu or your profile, then go to settings, then come down to the security tab and just click the log out of all devices and you're good to go. Now, if you wanna do a more complex task, such as being a data analyst for a spreadsheet or a large PDF or something that has a lot of data, what ChatGPT will do, it will run some code in the background and then spit out the response for you. But you may not always see what that code is. And if you're curious of what it is, especially with something maybe like OCR, you can go to the account or your profile then go to settings and in the general tab, make sure that the always show code when using a data analyst is on. And then you can see what it's doing in the background. Now for my last and pretty useful trick is if you go to the top where it says chat GPT here, then you go down to temporary chat. If you do this, you will open up to a new screen and it'll say this chat won't appear in history, use or create memories, basically save into a data bank what you're talking about or be used to train the models. For safety purposes, we may keep a copy for up to 30 days. So what this means is I can have a whole chat, no matter what it is, but as soon as I leave this chat, it's gone. It doesn't save in the sidebar or anything. And this is great if you just wanna have a quick conversation to maybe you need some code or you need to summarize something really quick, but you don't really need to save it. This is how I would do it. Okay, so those are my 17 tips and tricks for ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and also leave a comment in the section down below which one you thought was the most useful. Well, you can also sign up for my newsletter for free down in the description below where I bring out a newsletter every Sunday at noon. And there's also a Discord community that you can join others as well. I also have a couple AI courses for free down below in the description. And if you like this video, then you gotta watch how I use ChatGPT to learn any language in one hour. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.